Doxycycline is a very common antibiotic, but it's very important to understand the risks and benefits before starting. That's why in this video, we're gonna go over some of the most important things you need to know and answer the question, is doxycycline safe? So let's get started. This educational video is meant for the average person wondering about doxycycline, so hopefully it answers all of the questions you need. If it doesn't, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Doxycycline is used for a ton of different things like acne, malaria prophylaxis, sinus infections, pneumonia, different skin infections, and also ear infections, just to name a few. That's one reason why doxycycline is considered a broad spectrum antibiotic. It's also very cheap, so it's appealing globally. Remember that our country is a high income country in the United States, but there's also low and low medium income countries that simply can't afford different medication. But the good news is doxycycline is cheap. So I'm gonna run through some of the most common questions I see in clinic and also some common concerns that people have. So the first question is, how do you take doxycycline? You take doxycycline orally, meaning you have to swallow it. Remember that any pills or supplements should always be taken with water. This is very important, especially with doxycycline, because not only can doxycycline cause an upset stomach, but it can cause esophagitis, which is inflammation and swelling of the esophagus, which is your food tube. I remember when I was a kid, I used to take pills without water, and my mom used to offer me water. I'm like, no, no. I don't need that. I can swallow it on my own. But hindsight 2020, that's a terrible idea. So please don't do that. The next question is, what happens if I miss a dose? And the answer is, it's a little complicated and it depends. So for example, if you're taking doxycycline twice a day at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., and let's say you missed your 7 a.m. dose and now it's 7.30 a.m., just take it at 7.30 a.m., then take it at 7.30 p.m. But for example, you missed your 7 a.m. dose, now it's 6 p.m., just take it at 7 p.m. But the main thing you need to remember is don't double up medication and take two tabs at 7 p.m. You don't wanna do that. But if you have any other concerns, always consult with your primary care provider. So the next question is, how do you store doxycycline? You store doxycycline at room temperature inside your home. You wanna avoid excessive hot environments, excessive cold environments like the fridge or the freezer, and also avoid human environments. And please, please, please don't leave it in your car. That is bad. Because if it's left in a hot, humid, or really cold environment, this could affect how doxycycline works and you don't want that. So what happens if I abruptly stop taking doxycycline? Now, it all depends. If it was given for an infection, for example, for seven days, a provider wants you to take it for seven days. So if you're feeling better at day four and you're like, man, I'm gonna stop taking this medication, I'm good to go, that is a bad idea because an infection could potentially return. So if a provider prescribes it to you for seven days, 10 days, 14 days, take it for the full duration. On the other hand, let's say you were given a seven day regimen and you're not feeling better and it's been like three or four days, this could be a bad sign that either the antibiotics aren't working or there's another diagnosis. So it's very important to get reevaluated at that time. Another big question that I get from women is will doxycycline affect my birth control? And the answer is doxycycline doesn't significantly affect the various forms of birth controls. So in that department, you're good to go. Another big question is can I drink alcohol while I'm taking doxycycline? Unfortunately, the safest answer is to not drink any alcohol while taking doxycycline. Now, some studies suggest that one or two drinks is relatively safe, but it depends on the particular patient. But drinking too much alcohol can lower doxycycline's effectiveness, and this is especially a big problem in alcoholics. Is doxycycline safe in children? And this is a big question that I get from parents. Overall, doxycycline has been avoided in children under eight years old because of teeth staining. But the good news is some recent studies reveal that if doxycycline is prescribed for less than 14 to 21 days, the risk of teeth staining is incredibly low. But overall, doxycycline is safe for children. You gotta remember that if doxycycline is the only thing available and it could save a life, we 
we have to give it to them despite the teeth staining because we got to take care of our children. One of the most common questions I get, and maybe the reason why you're here, is what are the common side effects of doxycycline? And some of those symptoms can be nausea and vomiting, rash, diarrhea, upset stomach, loss of appetite. Those are a few of the more common ones. I talked about it a little bit earlier, but people can get esophageal issues. Remember the food pipe? They can get esophagitis esophageal stenosis. They can also get esophageal ulcers, which are ulcers that develop inside your food pipe. Some people can have photosensitivity, meaning while taking doxycycline, they can go out in the sun and be more prone to getting sunburn. But the good news is you're not gonna be like a vampire where you're that sensitive, like that guy over there. The last more common side effect that people can develop is skin hyperpigmentation, meaning people's nails and skin could become hyperpigmented, meaning darker. There are several other potential side effects that people could develop, and these are the more common ones, but you gotta remember that by and large, people don't have any adverse side effects to doxycycline. So who should avoid doxycycline? There's quite a bit of people who might not be able to take doxycycline, like pregnant or lactating women, people with esophagitis, people with a history of an allergic reaction to doxycycline, people with kidney or liver issues, people with lupus or myasthenia gravis. These are some examples of people who might wanna avoid taking doxycycline. So the big question is, is doxycycline safe? The answer is all antibiotics have their risks and their benefits. You gotta remember that overall doxycycline is very safe in most people, but if you have any concerns, always consult with your primary care provider. That wraps up today's video on doxycycline. If you learned something new, please give me a big old like. And if you wanna support my channel so I can make more of these videos, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, until next time, take care.